Hello, welcome to Win Some, Lose More. My name is Dieter and you join me for Why I Like, a series of videos where I take you through some of the games in our collection, tell you why I like them. Today I'll be telling you why I like Men at Work. Men at Work is a recent addition to our collection. This is a dexterity stacking game set on a building site uh, where you're placing either girders or workers in this growing tower, trying not to make it fall and trying to be worker of the month. Why don't I show you how it works and I'll come back and tell you why I like Men at Work. So here is a possible setup for the game. This startup you can kind of arrange however you like. What you must do is have three of the bases, one each of the colors, and then take one of these workers and place it somewhere. Just wanted to show you these. These are some of the coolest things. They have little hard hats, so they stay safe. But <laughs> these are just really fun. So, oh, you're only ever allowed to use one hand. That's set up, we're ready to go. We have a stack of cards, and you just flip one over. Each person starts with three safety certificates. They're basically lives and you're trying to be the first person to get to five in a two player game of these worker of the month. So things, points basically. Uh, and so the two things that the card shows, what you're placing, either a hat, say you're saying uh, placing a worker on either um, a, and then it shows some colors. So in this case, either he needs to stand or she needs to stand on a black beam or a white beam, or it will show the picture of a girder and show you the color that you need to place. And then the one that you flipped tells you the rule. And so we're looking at this one with a beam. Now these big colorful ones are girders. These are beams. These are things for the workers to carry. So I'm going to try and make it as simple for myself as possible. As I say, you can only use one hand. I am going to place a worker there. And now I have to give him a beam with means once they're there, they need to get one. Ooh. And I've caused an accident straight away. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Uh, I would lose a safety certificate and then the next player needs to use the hook. However, they so choose to rescue whatever's gone on. And now it's their turn. So it's this player's turn. They will flip a card, also a worker transporting a beam. Oh my goodness, these are terribly hard ones. I'm gonna probably ruin the shot now because I need to concentrate for this uh, on purple or white. So we need to balance the beam on the worker first. Oh, that's okay. Uh, let's put it on this side. This is transporting with you put the work first, then you put the beam on. Transporting, you need to take them together. There's no limit to how many workers can be on a beam. Oh, success. Good. <laughs> and so that person is complete. They didn't cause any accidents. And this would continue and then about uh, a quarter-ish of the way through the deck, Rita shows up. Rita is the boss. Once Rita has shown up, thereafter, if the piece that you place is the highest piece and the cleanup hook is also a measuring stick, you will gain a worker of the month. So I need to put a girder and touch the existing highest girder and it can either be a black one or a white one. So I'm gonna take a white one with one hand, place it like that. Is it the highest thing? No, not quite. So I wouldn't get any points, but that's okay. I didn't cause an accident either. This just continues. Place a worker close to an edge. Nice and simple on either a black beam or a purple beam. Let's put him there. It is the highest. So I gain a point. And this continues until people make mistakes. People drop things So a purple with a worker. So again, purple or orange, put that there. We have to put a worker on and it was fine. So anytime something falls down or touches the playing surface in any way, you would lose the safety certificate. There are a good number of different types of cards that could come up. Uh, so with all the girders, there's, what's that, 12 different ones that could come up. And with the workers, you've got, I can't count quick enough, nine, 
yes, nine different ones that could come up. Um, so close to an edge, it just explains it all, it's nice and clear. And the game also comes with three variants, and just the edge of the shot here, you can see a crane, that's fun. You could have started the game, let's see if I can do it retroactively, no, probably not. Oh, I caused several accidents. Uh, you can put the crane in the middle, and that just counts as something else that you can support it on. You can even use the insert of the box, which is a lovely insert by the way, and use this as the base just to make it even harder. But that's it, you're just building up, flipping the cards, doing whatever it says. Either one person uh, gets five points, or another person loses all their safety certificates. Either way, either one person loses, which means the other person won, or the person who got most points wins. So why do I like Men at Work? Well, simply, it is just silly quick fun. Um, we've only played this a few times to say it's a relatively recent addition and it's been just hilarious every time. Um, we're not great at it. I don't think... Uh, Kirsty is the only person to have even scored a point <laughs> uh, since we've been playing this, just because of how the cards come up. I'm sure it's easier if you just so happen to get, oh, put a worker on here. It could be that it's quite simple to get points, but we're bad at it. Um, and so it's more not making mistakes and yet we do and so somebody loses all their safety certificates and the other person or the other people win um so that's <laughs> it's just fun it, we're bad at it and yet it's fun that's why immediately i was like i'm gonna do one of these videos for this because that's just a great criteria for me if i suck at it and i really enjoy it it's a good game for me some people don't like the silliness. This is good silly. Uh, the pieces are just those real chunky ones that you saw. The colors are nicely differentiated. Not yet tried it with uh, any colorblind people to see how easy it is to tell the difference. I don't know what might be a problem. A purple and a black, I don't know. Um, but all the iconography and symbology is really clear, really simple. Uh, the instructions make sense. We had to clarify with or transporting when you put the thing on. Um, but yeah, you've seen how it works. It's that simple and it's that easy and hard all at the same time. Good fun. It falls down, you've got that funny hook. Um, there's good variety. It's got those different uh, versions that you can play using the base of the box even. Um, but got that crane and other things that you can do. Yeah. I think it's relatively self-explanatory. This is great. Um, immediately members of our family were like, how old is that for? Because they've got children and this just looks like that kind of thing. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. This is Men at Work. Really enjoy it. And that's why I like it. Didn't even say a lot. It's just really good. It's simple. Inserts nice. Fun. That's all a game should be, isn't it? Fun. And it is. It just is. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. That's why I like Men at Work. Thank you very much for joining me for this um, very brief, simple video. Um, you can follow us in the meantime until our next video. You can subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you stay updated when we post new videos. Uh, you can follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. Um, thank you very much. I've been Dieter for Winsome Loose More. Goodbye.